All right, we have set our timer, so we're all locked in. Can you please right. introduce yourself? Um, I'm Anissa Shardle. Um, Anissa rhymes with Lisa. Shardle rhymes with startle. Um, and uh, you can call me Anissa or you can call me Miss Shardle. Either one is fine. Oh, cool, cool. Yeah, I like Cody. I just, Cody is my, I don't need a mister, but Cody is my go-to. Uh, oh, that's good. Yeah. I like, I saw in your email that, that your rhymes with, that's really useful. That's, yeah. That's useful. Um, so what will you be teaching the freshmen this year? Um, I'm teaching IM1, Integrated Math 1. So that's our freshman math class. So I'll probably have like basically a third of the freshmen. Yeah. Wow. Math, yeah. Cool. And what do you like about teaching that class? Um, what do I like about it? Hmm. Well, I'm really excited about teaching it this year because um, we're trying out a new curriculum and it looks really good. Um, and we're going to be um, doing some really exciting stuff with it. I think um, it's going to be sort of a more fun um, way to teach math. Yeah. Better than our old curriculum, I think. And opinion. I feel like I've, you have the reputation of really excelling with remote learning. Am I wrong about that? Uh, really? Um, well, uh, I do know how to use a computer, um, <laughs> more or less. Um, I do have some, um, I don't know, some cool tools that I'm interested in trying out, like, um, like a little plugin for Google Meet where you can react to things with emoji and raise cool. your hand, stuff like that. So I want to, I want to know about that. That's cool. Yeah. Um, now, what do you like about teaching freshmen? Um, what do I like about teaching freshmen? I mean, I've only done it once before. Okay. Um, hmm. It's a new experience for me. So I'm, this is only my second year teaching. Um, and uh, before that, before I was teaching high school, I was teaching college. Okay. So um, I think, I think sometimes I treat students more like adults because I'm sort of used to teaching adults um, and they tend to appreciate that, you know, so. Absolutely, they do. And I think that what a lot of the teachers is ta I've talked about is what a relief high school is after middle school, you know, that there is oh, sure. agency and, and kids are able to kind of set their own trajectory more. Um, yeah. And they are, they are adults, you know, the young adults. And yeah, uh, yeah I, I couldn't agree with you more. Yeah. Uh, although I like how they keep me young and silly as well. So that's a nice, yeah. yeah. What would you like as a freshman? Oh, geez. Well, I was a big nerd. Um, I feel like school was really, really different when I went to school. I, I'm from Kentucky, um, and it was, you know, 20 years ago, um, and, like, I, you know, our schools were super different. I was in this, like, super special math and science program thing, um, which is, um, you know, something that we've learned is maybe not the best way to organize teaching um, and organize students. Um, to, and, you know, so I have a lot of feelings about that, but like I definitely sort of identified as a big math and science nerd because I was like in that program, my parents were scientists and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, so I really sort of leaned into it. You know, I like, um, I don't know, I like to really be nerdy about stuff. I like to nerd out about like musicals, <laughs> you know, oh. that kind of thing. Yeah. What's one of your favorite musicals? Oh, geez. You know, I, well, you know, I, I'm going to say Hamilton. Hamilton yeah. is really good. Yeah. Awesome. I mean, um, I haven't, lately I've been into more weird esoteric kind of music, like um, early music stuff, um, and not so much into musicals. Um, mm -hmm. But, you know, we all. Uh, Hamilton's awesome. I, I was able to see it. Uh, and, oh, that's great. You know, great. it's too bad because it was coming to Hartford. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah I, I don't know. I don't know. Time. I can't, maybe it still will in limited I, capacity or something, but it was yeah. coming to the, that the traveling show was coming to Hartford and it is, it's a real yeah. work of art. There's well, no let's question. hope that it's delayed. Cause I, I wouldn't want to like go and be in an audience right now, even if it but, was like available, you know. Yeah, but, yeah. So yeah. what's what, a piece of advice you have for the freshmen in terms of remote learning? Oh, geez. Showing up is like at least 70% of the battle, I think with remote learning, like just showing up and just like doing the thing. Um, is really going to be it. And I think like also any opportunity to get away from your screen, like do it. You know, we, we put in kind of a longer lunch break um, and that kind of thing. Um, this is, you know, to try to get you away from your screen. So make sure that you're there when you need to be there and make sure you're not there when you don't need to be there, I think is really, 
is really sort of the main thing. Um, yeah. I'm going to try to do stuff offline when I can. I'm going to give them paper and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so that's my goal. Yeah, me too. Me too. And also, you know, if you're eating lunch, just go on your front steps, you know, yeah. get the sun yeah. on your face. You know, it's really, it, it's, it's an elixir. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks so much for doing that. And for those students lucky enough to have you, they'll be seeing you soon. Cool. Yeah. Thanks. Awesome.